Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to read the final chapter in the book of Ezekiel. And here in this final chapter, God is giving instructions on how the land will be laid out for the tribes. Now these are the names of the tribes from the north end to the coast of the way of Hethlon, as one goeth to Hamath. Hazar Enan, the border of Damascus northward, to the coast of Hamath, for these are his sides east and west, a portion for Dan. And by the border of Dan, from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Asher. And by the border of Asher, from the east side even unto the west side, a portion for Naphtali. And by the border of Naphtali, from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Manassas. And by the border of Manassas, from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Eph Ephraim. And, the border, and by the border of Ephraim, from the east side, even unto the west side, a portion for Reuben. And by the border of Reuben, from the east side, unto the west side, a portion for Judah. And by the border of Judah, from the east side, unto the west side, shall be the offering which ye shall offer of five and twenty thousand reeds in breadth and in length as one of the other parts, from the east side unto the west side, and the sanctuary shall be in the midst of it. The oblation that ye shall offer unto the Lord shall be five and twenty thousand in length, and of ten thousand in breadth. And for them, even for the priest, shall be this holy oblation, Toward the north, five and twenty thousand in length, and toward the west, ten thousand in breadth, and toward the east, ten thousand in breadth, and toward the south, five and twenty thousand in length. And the sanctuary of the Lord shall be in the midst thereof. It shall be for the priests that are sanctified of the sons of Zadok, which have kept my charge, which went not astray with the children of Israel, when the children of Israel went astray, as the Levites went astray. And this oblation of the land that is offered shall be unto them a thing most holy by the border of the Levites. And over against the border of the priest the Levites shall have five and twenty thousand in length, and ten thousand in breadth. All the length shall be five and twenty thousand, and the breadth ten thousand. And they shall not sell of it, neither exchange nor alienate the first fruits of the land, for it is holy unto the Lord. And the five thousand that are left in the breadth over against the five and twenty thousand shall be a profane place for the city. A profane is here. Wow. Let's see. Profane. Or for general use by the, the city. For dwelling and for suburbs or common land. And the city shall be in the midst, or the center thereof, surrounded. The city's going to be surrounded with the tribes. And these shall be the measures thereof, the north side 4,500, and the south side 4,500, and on the east side 4,500, and the west side 4,500. And the suburbs of the city shall be toward the north, 250, and toward the south, 250, and toward the east, 250, and toward the west, 250. 
and the residue in length over against the oblation of the holy portion shall be ten thousand eastward and ten thousand westward, and it shall be over against the oblation of the holy portion. And the incense thereof shall be for food unto them that serve the city, and they that serve the city shall serve it out of all the tribes of Israel. Everyone's going to contribute. All the oblation shall be five and twenty thousand by five and twenty thousand. Ye shall offer the holy oblation four square with the possession of the city or the property of the city. And the residue shall be for the prince on the one side and on the other side of the holy oblation and of the possession of the city over against the five and twenty thousand of the oblation toward the east border and westward over against the five and twenty thousand toward the west border over against the portions for the prince and it shall be holy shall be the holy oblation and the sanctuary of the house shall be in the midst thereof moreover from the possession of the Levites and from the possession of the city being in the midst of that which is the princes border between the border of Judah and the border of Benjamin shall be for the prince as for the rest of the tribes and from the east side unto the west side Benjamin shall have a portion and by the border of Benjamin from the east side unto the west side, Simeon shall have a portion. And by the border of Simeon from the east side unto the west side, Ishakar a portion. And by the border of Ishakar from the east side unto the west side, Zebulon a portion. And by the border of Zebulon from the east side unto the west side, Gad a portion. And by the border of Gad at the south side southward, the border shall be even from Tamar unto the waters of Strife in Kadesh, and to the river toward the great sea. This is the land which ye shall divide by lot unto the tribes of Israel for inheritance. And these are their portions, saith the Lord God. And these are the goings out of the city on the north side, 4,500 measures. And the gates of the city shall be after the names of the tribes of Israel, three gates northward, one gate of Reuben, one gate of Judah, one gate of Levi. And at the east side, 4,500 and three gates, and one gate of Joseph, one gate of Benjamin, one gate of Dan. And at the south side, 4,500 measures and three gates, one gate of Simeon, one gate of Ishakar, and one gate of Zebulon. And the west side, nor toward, excuse me, and the west side, 4,500, with their three gates, one gate of Gad, one of Asher, one of, Nath of Naphtali. It was round about 18,000 measures, and the name of the city from that day shall be The Lord is there. Oh, man. The Lord is there. Oh, oh my goodness. God is a God of order. He's not a God of chaos. Look how precisely he has laid all this out. Specific rules to follow. Things to do, like the priests when they go into the Holy of Holies. When they come out before they go to the common people, they have to remove their holy garments and put on their other clothes. <sighs> Things that should be boiled how much oil, how much flour, everything ordered, so orderly. God is not a God of chaos. 
That's why when we see the things that are happening in this world, all the chaos, we know it's not of God. And as always, I love you.